It did, did, what is this? Top 10 most expensive hotel rooms in the world. US. Seven months. Well, I watch the whole thing. Can you overreact to my seven months? Also merch when the city you of Dubai has emerged as a major global city within the last couple of decades. The capital, the Emirate of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. The city is known for its upscale- Scared the of AI? Fuck is this? There's no way this is real. Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Watch this the city is known Jessup for its upscale shopping, US. thriving nightlife, it's and decadent skyscrapers. One of these, the hotel yeah, is the fourth tallest hotel in the world and sits on an artificial island off Dubai's coast. Its priciest suite, the Royal Suite, is a wonder to behold. Perched on the 25th Just floor overlooking the Gulf Felix, and only accessible by private elevator, lot, the least of its impressive less than three. Five, um, key, is more five, five. features is its absolutely staggering size, 8,400 square feet, with a the marble stairway shot. greeting you at the entryway and massive pillars, all covered in 22 karat gold. The suite is divided My into areas Taxi themed for Coleman, men and women and also like features this. a huge dining area, private library, and three spa-quality bathrooms with marble and gold fixtures. Of course, there's also a private movie theater, and if you don't like the selection of pillows, just yeah, but I'll, I'll, I'll look through this off for this video. Um, I don't want to watch the only videos. I want to do like Reddit, Reddit, Reddit weekend and stuff. So I'm gonna go through this really fast. Just pick different ones from the chill. pillow menu. This incredibly extravagant suite in the heart of the Middle East's most vibrant city goes for around twenty-four thousand dollars per night. Tokyo is one of the world's most cosmopolitan cities and is known among travelers for its unique blend of the traditional and the ultra-modern. Travelers who know their cuisine also know that Japan's capital is absolutely second to none on the international dining scene. The Michelin Guide, which awards stars to restaurants and hotels for excellence in service, awarded 191 total stars in its guide to fine dining in Tokyo. That's nearly twice as many as Paris, the closest competitor. A Can I know why uh, a garage store that sells tires rates food quality in the world? Accordingly, the Ritz-Carlton suite at the five-star hotel of the same name has modern luxury written all over it. The massive 3,300-square-foot suite sits 53 stories up, offering spectacular views of the Tokyo skyline and the Imperial Palace Garden. The East meets West aesthetic echoes that of the city itself, with That's luxurious trash. bedrooms and two stunning bathrooms with marble surfaces, That's complete with all of the amenities. The suite's location... Guys, can I be honest with you? This bath is like a piece of shit. I don't give a fuck if it's made out of, out of marble, diamond, gold, platinum, titanium, fucking uranium. I don't give a fuck. I'm thinking a bath, yo. It's complete with all of the amenities. The suite's location atop one of Tokyo's finest hotels also offers easy access to some of the most acclaimed dining, theater, and museums in the world. Plan your perfect night out while overlooking this amazing city. And if you can afford the Ritz-Carlton suite, it had better be legendary. One night in this pinnacle of ultra-modern luxury will set you back $25,000. Oh, well, fuck you! Speaking of Paris, the French capital has been famous for its cuisine since the 18th century. There are over 9,000 restaurants city. in the city, and many of the most famous French chefs own restaurants in Paris. It's also been the capital of high fashion for centuries, continuing to dominate trends in the fashion industry even today. Located near the Eiffel Tower, the historic Hotel Plaza Athene has undergone several renovations within the last decade. In 2012, its luxurious royal suite underwent an upgrade that made it the most spacious and expensive hotel suite in Paris. Wow. The incredible 4,800 square foot suite contains four bedrooms, two bathrooms, a full kitchen, and an office. The updated interior design features a blending See, of class. That's what I don't get. Like as as someone who's like kind of sim like simplest or whatever, this sofa doesn't look very comfortable to sit in. This chair looks trash and, and clunky, right? Two bathrooms. A f like, what, dude, there's a marble statue of fucking uh, Socrates here, dude, with like some some flying shit and some. I don't give a fuck. Full kitchen and an office. The updated interior design features a blending of classical and modern style. And of course, the decadent bathrooms are a main feature. Their fixtures are made from Italian marble imported from Verona, and one bathroom features a full jacuzzi and a steam room. While the redesign has given the space a more modern feel, the antique furniture is from the era of Louis XV and ties in with the decor Louis. for a distinctly classical vibe. The appropriately named Royal Suite is indeed fit for a king, and it will help to be one if you hope to afford the going rate of about $26,000 per uh, night. Dude. dude, I got this, yeah. 
When it comes to major historical cities, Easy. very few tie visitors to the ancient past like the majestic Italian capital of Rome. The city's history spans well over 2,000 years, and it is seen as the birthplace of Western civilization, producing many of the first great achievements in art, science, education, and culture. Today, it is the 14th most visited city in Europe, with millions of tourists every year coming to see its museums and ancient monuments. Why that Rome's Westin Excelsior Hotel has been called one of the most luxurious hotels in the entire world. Ooh, While pong. some of its rooms come within shouting distance of affordability, its luxury suite, called the Villa La Cupola, comes with a head-spinning price tag. It features an unbelievable five floors of five-star luxury, totaling 6,100 square feet. And if that seems excessive, keep- Dude, look at this chair. Dude, you cannot pay me to sit in this dumb shit. This is like a backbreaker. Keep in mind that it doesn't include the balconies and terraces, which tack on another 1,800 square feet. The suite has its own private elevator leading to a fitness area, along with a private theater and a total of seven bedrooms. Oh, uh, sorry, a theater? Holy shit! Hey, th guys, I can't wait to, 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 to bring my, my parents and my family to watch the movie in these trash chairs. Literal six dollar chairs, a total thank of you. Seven bedrooms. Marble, Italian walnut, and hand-painted frescoes are among the elaborate and expensive decor. Antique chandeliers, a private cupola, your own wine cellar, the luxurious appointments are almost too numerous to list. Of course, you can simply book a night or two and check it out for yourself when in Rome, if you don't mind the $30,000 per night rate. Worth Pog! Of course, if you're looking for over-the-top luxury without having to dig out your passport, look no further than the American capital of decadence. Las Vegas is billed as the entertainment capital of the world, oh and it I never stops this. trying day or night to live up to that billing. The internationally renowned resort city and its famous strip are one of the hottest tourist destinations Oof. on the planet, and Vegas has long been a- Guys, 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 look at this male ratio. What the fuck? I see one female, she has a boyfriend, another one all, has one also. Mel, 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 mel. It's just it's like a sausage fest. ...on the planet, and Vegas has long been a leader in the luxury hospitality industry. As such, its most expensive hotel suite is simply jaw-dropping in its extravagance. The Sky Villa Suite at the Palms Casino Resort is located 30 stories above the Strip. A 9,000 square foot palace in the sky Ooh, with private pod. butlers attending to the needs of you and your guests. Along with all of the expenses. That's kind of weird. What if you're like jerking off like at, at the TV and some, some guy comes in and like wants some champagne? Like, dude, I'm jerking off, yo. Needs of you and your guests. Along with all of the expected luxurious amenities, the suite features a glass elevator to the master bedroom, which has a spectacular 360-degree view of the city, a private gym and Why? massage room, and the ultimate showstopper, the pool. The private heated pool is located on a two-story terrace overlooking the city that transforms into a private nightclub, complete with neon lights and surround sound stereo system. Well, it's little wonder that a parade of rock stars and celebrities have stayed here. And it's only $35,000 per night. Only? It may come as no surprise that France is one of only two countries on our list to make a repeat appearance. The city of Cannes on the French Riviera is of course world famous for its international film festival. Perhaps the most influential film festival in the world and an important showcase for international cinema. The nice. city is also known for its ultra upscale aesthetic and as a playground for the rich and famous and is home to a number of luxury hotels and resorts. The Hotel Martinez, acquired by Hyatt in 2012, was opened in 1929 and quickly became one of the most respected luxury hotels in France. Its penthouse suite is 3,200 square feet of luxury, <laughs> located on its seventh floor, with an astonishing view of the Bay of Cannes from its private terrace, which, believe it or not, is almost as large as the suite itself at a mind-blowing 2,900 square feet. The incredibly spacious bathrooms are outfitted in marble. A suite wide Bose sound system caters to your Oof. every music need, and a butler caters to any other need you might have. Luxury <sighs> like this in a city known for its love affair with all things ritzy is bound to come at a steep price $37,500 per night. This is a clap, yoink. Someone in chat said you were. Yeah, somebody in chat said I was uh, a disappointment to France. Well, thank fucking God, because I don't come from France. I don't have anything to do with friends. I'm French-Canadian, you complete cuck. The Raj Palace was once the oldest and one of the largest mansions in India, and in 1996, it was converted into a stunning luxury hotel. In this hotel, every suite is grand luxury. Each one has its own private mini-museum, and they're decorated in priceless antique furniture. 
The hotel's dining room is even home to the world's largest chandelier. But the crown jewel of the Raj Palace is the most expensive hotel suite in all of Asia, the Presidential Suite, also known as Maharaja's Pavilion. The four-story suite, connected by a private elevator, boasts an unbelievable 16,000 square shit. feet of space. The first floor contains the private lounge and bar. The second houses the private museum, with walls intricately decorated with gold leaf and mirror work, and also overlooks the courtyards and gardens. The third floor has a lavish dining area adorned with priceless decorations, and the fourth has a private rooftop terrace with amazing city views, private spa, and entrance for your private butler staff. Bathrooms have solid gold and silver fixtures. Antique furniture is crafted from silver, gold, and ivory. Guys, Every it has things that have gold inside. Holy shit! It, it means that uh, silver, there's gold, no difference. And ivory. Every detail of this opulent suite screams Fake? luxury. Yeah, and well, it should. To live like the Maharaja for just one night, it'll cost you forty-five thousand dollars. At that price, this, there's no point in like. The bit. only other American entry on our list is located, of course, in the Big Apple. Requiring no introduction, New York City is simply the cultural and financial capital of the world, the global leader in commerce, technology, fashion, and more, and home to its fair share of world-renowned luxury hotels. Opened in 1993, the Four Seasons New York is a five-star hotel with a sterling reputation for service and luxury. Even the least no, expensive bad. of its guest rooms will set you back $1,200. And its Ty Warner penthouse, located on the 52nd floor, is at this time the most expensive hotel suite in the United States. Named after the hotel's owner, the 4,300-square-foot suite Oof. was a collaboration between designer Peter uh. Marino and famed architect I.M. Pei, who came out of retirement to work on the project. Adorned in 22 karat gold and featuring sweeping 25 foot cathedral ceilings, the suite's amenities are positively insane. In addition to the personal butler, personal trainer, and private chauffeur, it features unlimited global calling and TVs that can receive literally any channel in the world. The suite's decor is absolutely impeccable. Walls inlaid with mother of pearl. Uh, once again, look at these fucking chairs, dude. Actual backbreakers. The bronze chandeliers and four French doors that open on the most perfect view of Central Park in the city. You won't find a more luxurious or expensive stay anywhere in the U.S. That's a insane, cool though. Thousand dollars per night. Fifty K juicer is one major city that can overwhelm visitors with its connection to history even more than Rome. It is Athens, Greece. Its site has been inhabited for thousands of years, with its recorded history alone going back 3,400 years, and it remains an important international trade hub. Dubai the Grand first Resort Laganissi is a beachfront five-star hotel with an international reputation for pampering its guests. With only 18 suites, the level of comfort Oof. ranges from luxurious to mind-bogglingly ultra-luxurious. Can the girl go it? In the second most expensive hotel suite in the world, the Royal Villa. The 4,400 square foot suite boasts all of the perks and then some. Marble bathrooms, private massage area, butler service, private parking, heated boom. floors, and a grand piano, complete with pianist. As if that weren't enough, there are two heated private pools, one indoor and one outdoor, and a beautiful 7,000 square foot private garden. This beachfront suite has practically everything the insanely wealthy could ever want. And guys, all it'll cost is $50,000 per night. Guys, as I don't understand, please try to explain to me what I'm missing. Um, if I if I help me have a big house and a big garden, right? You see the plants grow. You see them being trimmed, being being loved, being um, uh, dying and regrowing and being watered. It's all that nice stuff, right? But if you, if you rent or if you get a night in a hotel, why do you give a fuck if there's a luxurious garden in front of your stupid shit chair? Why do you give a fuck? Finally, the Royal Penthouse Suite at the Hotel President Wilson in Geneva, Switzerland has recently been recognized as the largest and most expensive Business. hotel suite in the world. Located on the 8th and top floor of the hotel, the stunning 18,000 square foot Ooh, suite nice. is rumored to have hosted such international celebrities as Bill Clinton, Michael Jackson, and Bill Gates. Why well, do I want to go anymore? The suite takes up an entire floor and features an incredible view of Lake Geneva. With multiple master bedrooms and living rooms and a dining room that can seat 26, the suite has more than enough room to entertain famous guests. It also has its own private boardroom, a 1,700-square-foot terrace with a telescope, a private media center and billiards room, and one of the few existing 103-inch Bong & Olufsen flat-screen televisions. 
with hand-picked original art, the highest-end appliances available, and only the most upscale furnishings and decor. The suite also keeps the needs of its rich and famous occupants in mind with an emphasis on security. Aside from the bulletproof windows, motion detection system, and armored doors, bulletproof. the hotel even throws in your own private security team during your stay. All of this adds up to the most extravagant of all hospitality experiences. That's just kind of weird. The Royal Penthouse Suite is the ultimate in luxury hotel rooms, and the priciest of them all, at $80,000 per night. Okay, dude. Can anybody do some quick math? What would it take for you to live there? You know, dude, quick maths. Boys, $80,000 times 365. 29 million. At 29 million, you could probably build three suits like that. Fuck is wrong with those people.